Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Loved Yoga with me, Tess, at In the Loved Locker. And uh, this morning, for Mindspace Week, we're going to be doing things around de-stressing ourselves, okay? So the things we're going to do have good results in lowering our cortisol and making us feel calm and at ease. They're going to involve some movement, and this can be done seated or standing. And we'll also include some breath work, and then we'll do a relaxation at the end. Now, every single exercise can be done seated or standing. Every single exercise has a health benefit. So even the silliest things will make you feel better. Um, and you might not always recognize it straight away, but it really works. If you've had an operation the last six to eight weeks or six to 12 weeks, um, we advise you not to do the laughter element because you are pulling all your muscles and the movement um, could do you some damage. So always talk to your doctor first in that respect. Um, laughter yoga is an exercise. It isn't just, um, you know, laughing. So just bear that in mind. And we're going to have some fun. We're going to make ourselves feel better and we're going to learn how to control that stress and anxiety in those moments when things overwhelm us. Okay, we're going to start with a namaste, as we always do, but our namaste involves laughter. So we're literally going to say namaste, which means that we are acknowledging each other's differences and we are celebrating them. Difference is wonderful. It would be so boring if we were all the same. Okay, and then we're going to laugh for about a minute and that's going to get our endorphins going. So namaste, everybody. relax now what your body is now doing is your brain doesn't know the difference between um laughing at something and just the act of laughing so when you laugh you send a signal to your brain and it releases endorphins so straight away you're letting out those feel-good hormones and they're going to start to zing around your body as we go through this session now we're going to start slightly differently with the exercises i thought we'd start today with some box breathing and this is all about controlling breath, especially good in situations where you feel a bit stressed or you just need to calm right down. And we're going to use our arms. If you're standing, just stand with so your feet hip width apart. If you're sitting, make sure your feet are on the floor and your posture is upright. And we're going to raise our arms and count to four as we breathe in. And we're going to hold for four. And then as we lower our arms, we're going to breathe out. OK, so breathe in. Hold it. And breathe out. And relax. And again. Breathe in. Hold it. And breathe out. One more time, breathe in. Hold it. And 
and breathe out. And relax. And let your breath return to normal. Now you can do that in threes, fours, fives. The idea is it's an even number and it just gets you to a calmer place. Now we're going to start this session um, to warm ourselves up with the road to nowhere, okay? And this is literally, we're gonna run nowhere fast. So you can stand on the spot. If you're standing and you want to move around, that's fine, move around. Sitting, just move your legs up and down. So you're pumping your calves and your thighs and getting those lymphs going, all right? And we're just going to start off slowly and we're gonna laugh during this. And we're gonna start off slowly running. And we're gonna go uphill and then we're gonna get faster and faster and faster and faster. And then we're gonna come back the other day, way and slow down again, all right? So let's go. <laughs> Just let your breath return to normal. You should feel a little bit flushed, a little bit warm. And we've got our heart rate up, which is great. And we've also used the laughter and that's getting more endorphins out. And we've used movement. So that's a great exercise to warm up. And I wanna say very good, very good, yay. Okay, try it. Very good, very good. Yay! And that's a great affirmation to say that you've done well. So now I want you to return to the box breath. We're gonna get our breath back down to natural again. All right, so let's do four, four, four again. And this time I want you to use the goddess position. So like this, and we're gonna breathe in for four and raise our arms up and hold it, and then bring them down to this position again. Okay, so let's breathe in. And hold it. And out. and relax and again breathe in for four and hold it and out 
and relax. And just let your breath return to normal. Now the next exercise we're going to do is playful and it's all about using our arms and our hands and we've done this on here before so some of you will know this it's called lion laughter it exercises our face it uses our breathing and it uses the laughter to activate those endorphins okay so if you're standing just get into a stance with bent knees and your hands like this and if you're sitting again feet on the floor nice straight posture the thing we're going to do as we do this though is we're going to tense our arms so you can feel the muscles in your arms and then we're going to stick out our tongue and laugh <laughs> okay so let's have a go <laughs> in your tummy as you're doing that and all the muscles in your arms and the muscles in your face and at the same time those endorphins are zinging and it's also mindful because when you're doing all those things you can't really think about anything else or worry so it's a great way to take yourself out of the situation and we might come back to that later now I'm going to pull up my chair a little bit and we're going to do next some boxing laughter Okay, hopefully you can see me all right there. And boxing laughter isn't about violence at all. It's all about um, what I call laughter filled love punches. There's a phrase for you. So it's all about using that movement of punching to release stress and get it out. And the more you do that, the better you lower your cortisol and you will feel less stressed, okay? So we're gonna go in any direction. You can follow me, you can do your own thing, that's perfectly fine. But the idea is to move. So we're gonna stretch a little and we're going to put some force behind those fists so that you feel your arm and you're actually pushing that stress away. And we're gonna use ho, ho, ha, ha. So a little chant to keep you in time and to keep you going. And as with the run nowhere fast, we're going to get faster and faster and faster and then come back. So we're going to raise our heart rate a little bit while we're doing it, get ourselves nice and warm, get those aerobic muscles going, and then we're going to slow down again. All right, so let's go. Ho, ho, ha, ha. Ho, ho, ha, ha. Ho, ho, ha, ha. Ho. Ha, ha, ho, ho, 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 ha,
ho, ho, ha, ha, ho, ho, ha, ha, ho, ho, ha, ha, ho, ho, ha, ha, and relax. And I should have said, drink of water, grab one if you haven't got one. Speaking and doing the exercises always leaves me dry, so I definitely need it. So you should feel just a little bit breathless, just a little bit again, a little bit flushed, feeling that pressure coming out and you're releasing that tension, you're releasing that stress. And your arms might ache a little bit, your shoulders might ache a little bit because you're really pushing forward with that. And that's the idea that you're actually boxing that stress out of you, all right? So I think we should have and bear another very good, very good, yay! <laughs> very good, very good, yay! And you might wonder what that's about. And that's really about, um, it's a way of punctuating the exercises, but it's also about self-affirmation. Every little thing you do, congratulate yourself for it, you did it. And you may not have felt like doing it, or uh, you may have felt a bit silly doing it, or you may be feeling tired or something, you know, something's not right today, but you did it and you should congratulate yourself. And it's a great little phrase to have in your head um, to say to yourself when things are tough, when you get something done, very good, very good, yay. Okay, so we're going to do another box breath now. And this time we're gonna use our arms in an outward movement. So when we breathe out, or breathe in rather, we're going to put our arms out like this. So stretch them so they're about a metre long then. And we're gonna hold it. And then we're gonna use that strength that we just used with the boxing. So really feel it in your upper arms and push in like you've got a weight as you breathe out. But this time, instead of breathing out, we're going to laugh it out. Some people find that easier, they get more breath out, and it's also releasing those endorphins again, so you're getting a really good exercise. And the, the reason why we talk about breathing and do breathing isn't just for anxiety and stress, it's also because we don't use our lungs to our full capacity. And by learning to breathe better, we're actually feeding our bodies the oxygen it needs to work better. So we think better, we feel better, and we sleep better. So every single thing that we're doing is to promote our own health and make us feel good. All right. So this time I've just pushed back a little bit so you can see me properly. We're going to start this position. We're going to breathe in and we're going to do five, five, five this time. All right. So I want you to breathe in for five, hold for five, and then laugh out for five. So we're going to do three of these. So let's go, breathe in. Hold it. Again, let's breathe in. And hold it. Now one more time, breathe in, hold it, And 
relax, that's wonderful. Just shake your arms out, move your feet around a little bit. Let's just shake everything up, especially our arms that we've been using, and wriggle your shoulders. And just come to a relaxed position. Now we're going to do the relaxation element next. So if you're not seated, if you want to grab a chair, grab a drink of water, I want you to be comfortable. And we're going to do just a, a little visualization and it's all around going to the seaside. So it's sort of sap, happy childhood memories of the seaside, just to relax us and calm us and let that final bit of tension go. All right, so grab your seat. Pull up a little bit closer. And just get comfortable in your chair. Make sure your feet are flat on the floor. And I invite you to close your eyes. Um, I always feel that it's better to have your eyes closed for this. It takes away distractions and just helps you relax a little bit easier. And if you prefer to keep your eyes open, try and concentrate on a spot on the floor or wall just so that you don't get distracted. OK. So we're going to start with our eyes closed and our feet on the floor. And I want you to feel the ground beneath your feet. Know that you're safe and supported by your chair so that you can relax. And with your eyes closed, I just want you to breathe in and out and in and out and get yourself into a comfortable rhythm at your own pace. And I want you to imagine that we're on a bus and we're going to the seaside. And this bus is quite old fashioned. And it has those kind of seats that are velvety with tartan in them. And I want you to see them in your mind and imagine how they feel. And they're soft to the touch. The reds and blues and greens. Inviting you to come and sit and travel to the seaside. And as the bus moves off, you let your gaze go out the window. Kind of daydreaming, watching the world go by. You see schools and churches, woods full of trees, cars and motorbikes passing the bus by. And the bus trundles up hills and down again, rocking you into a semi-sleep as you feel your muscles starting to relax. You watch out of the window for that first glimpse of the sea and you see it coming up ahead and you begin to pass shops selling buckets and spades and candy floss and as you get closer and closer to the sea you can smell the salt in the air you can't wait to reach the beach. Gently the bus comes to a halt 
and it's time to get off. And then as you place your feet on the pavement, you are hit by the sunshine and the warmth of the sun and the smell of all the different smells of the seaside, the shellfish stand, the sweetie stand, that candy floss smell, the donuts, the fish and chips, and you breathe it in and you smile. So you walk along the promenade and down the ramp to the beach and you take your shoes off and you place your feet in the sand and you can feel it now beneath your feet it's warm and gritty and you just walk along the sand a little and you sit down on your blanket and you just breathe in the beautiful scent of the sea. Just breathe in and out and smile. And you lift your face to the sun and you enjoy the warmth. And you feel every single muscle in your body relax from your head to your toes, from your shoulders to your knees. You are relaxed and you let any tension go. You open your eyes, you watch the sea and the waves roll in and out in time with your breath and you hear that sound of them hitting the beach and you smile and just enjoy the sunshine and the rhythm of your breath to the waves and relax. You are happy, you are calm, you are stress free. This is your safe place. You can come here anytime you like. And just close your eyes and let yourself feel, hear, and smell the seaside. Use your childhood memories and your imagination to let yourself go. And breathe in and out. It'll soon be time for us to leave the beach. I want you to remember every single little bit of your beach, where the pier is, where the ice cream stand is, how close the sea is, the colour of the sky, the breeze, the sunshine and how that makes you feel and relax and each time you need to find some time for you just spend 10 minutes at your beach Now I want you to wiggle your toes in that sand once more. And acknowledge that it's now the carpet or floor beneath your feet. And just wiggle your fingers and your arms. 
and roll your shoulders, keeping your eyes closed for just a moment or two more. Breathe in and out and in and out. And when you are ready, take one last breath in. And as you breathe out, open your eyes and come back to your room. And just let your breath return to normal and your eyes adjust. I hope you enjoyed that little trip to the seaside. It's something you can do for yourself if you need to relax, uh, meditate, however you like to call it. It's not about having a silent mind or not having any thoughts. It's just about quiet time and then acknowledging thoughts if they intrude, let them pass and carry on with your relaxation. And you can do that at home anytime you like. Or you can come back to this and if you particularly enjoyed that one, you can come back to this and play the end so that you can meditate to it. Okay, so I always say, although it's a short meditation, don't go off and drive for a little while or do anything energetic. Just give yourself time to um, be aware again and um, ground yourself, maybe get a, a cuppa and um, relax a bit more even. It doesn't do us any harm. We, we need to take care of ourselves. And before I leave you, there are two things I want to do. One is we're just going to have a little re-energizer so that I know that you're fully awake. All right. And then I'm going to um, read you an inspiration card or an affirmation card. So I'm going to shuffle them and um, take one out. One's there. I shall read that at the end before I leave. All right, so we're going to re-energize uh, with a little uh, chant. So we're going to raise our arms and say, I'm alive. I'm awake. I'm enthusiastic. Okay. I'm alive. I'm awake. I'm enthusiastic. I'm alive. I'm awake. I'm enthusiastic. I'm alive. I'm awake. I'm enthusiastic. <laughs> okay just to wake ourselves up re-energize get those endorphins going again and um, you should now be feeling much better the more you practice the better you feel okay i'm back in two weeks time you can join me here again at 11 11 a.m on tuesday and um, obviously you can play these back and look at the old um videos here on the virtual village hall and you can find me at in the laughter locker so today's affirmation card is life gives me opportunities to show my best self. I welcome them with an open heart. I think that's rather lovely. So life gives me opportunities to show my best self. I welcome them with an open heart. And I hope that um, takes you into the rest of your week nicely. Um, keep laughing, keep smiling, keep breathing. And um, just remember, you can always take back your power with a good breath and a good laugh. So I'll see you in two weeks time, everyone. Take care now. Have a good afternoon. Bye.